something very slowly. You think it starts at 10, and you know that you have a good view over this. You're close to the city center, so small. Tourism is the biggest and the industry is the in Canada, Vienna. Ring Strasse, and where now the Ring Avenue is. City, Each one of these uh, buildings the was once uh, lived in by Empire. one family. And those many people living palaces. here at this prestige things, we That's are returning the to the Ring Avenue. The right house. side we see. That's the city hall of the White House. There were stables all around here before for Maria Teresa, the entrance to the castle. They began building Hofburg Palace in the 13th century, and it has 2,600 rooms used as a winter palace only. They, the royal family would move to Schoenbrunn in the summer. That's the Imperial Eagle up there. The statue of Charles is very important because if you look, this massive horse is resting just on two legs. Our guide is Alexander. Because they basically ruled what you named the whole thing. That, that was the oldest section. Hercules statues. By the way, if you sign up for an excursion to see the horses, the Lipizzan horses, you're not allowed to touch them, you're not allowed to photograph them. Most of the time they're lying down sleeping. You do not see a performance on the shore excursion. That would be a fun way to see Vienna. This is Michael Plotz. Michael's Church, the oldest part from the 13th century, and catacombs underneath it, had burials until 1783. Dimo is very, very famous. As a matter of fact, I remember when we were in the Istanbul Club a million years ago, they had cakes brought from Vienna from Dimo. Frederick Chopin lived here. This street has Tiffany, Michael Kors, Gucci, Dior, Fendi. They've got all the Christmas decorations up already, and of course they're having umpteen more little Christmas markets. Grabbing. This street is Graben, and it was a moat at one time. Graben means moat. St. Peter's Church is Baroque at 300 years old. He's talking about the plague. Celsius, this bacteria dies and the plague ends. So when the winter is very cold, that stops the plague. People did not know that in the past, and they said, God was merciful and took away the plague. It is called the Plague Column. In front of us is St. Stephen's Cathedral, a landmark. It was founded in the 12th century. Nothing left from that time, though. The spire is one of the seventh highest in the world, and this is 600 years old, what we see now. It's the entrance. Look at this one. All the people out here touting tours and things to do. Since I've been making a Miss Piggy of myself, oh, I love 
teach Dribbble at every meal, it was really not necessary for me to buy anything right now. Possible to decide anyhow. A nice chestnut one. Mm, yum, yum, yum. That's a pretty street. Everything is pretty. Another conditory from 1891. I like Gustav Klimt. No wonder I like these. They're 70 euro. Much more than I wanted to pay. I love the typical Lederhosen and dirt nose. Should I go to, how do you solve a problem like Maria? Let me know when you're getting tired of looking at Baroque or whatever else. Stunning, stunning buildings. This is a classy looking H&M. The Danube Tower was built in 1964, and there's an observation deck way up there that's accessed by two elevators and, of course, an admission fee. I hope you enjoyed our brief tour of Vienna. Steve and I were here 30-some uh, years ago, and you really have to stay for days to enjoy the museums and just walking around. There's a lot to see. But this is basically all that we're going to see today. Do come to Vienna.